What is flyer? A flyer is used as an effective way of passing around information. It is mostly used for marketing as many can be handed to different types of individuals. In most cases, a flyer and brochure is used to do the same job. Flyers A flyer is also rightly known as a leaflet or a handbill. A flyer is one piece of paper, usually the standard size of 8.5 inches into 11 inches. A4 Flyers are best for small scale marketing or when you have a small region to cover. Flyers are a cheap way to get info out to a large number of people. This type of marketing piece is called a throw away because they are handed out or hung in public places with the expectation that some of them will only get a passing glance before being thrown away. They are poorly printed on low quality paper and might be used to promote a nightclub or pizza restaurant. If you are going to hang up your flyer, you will only print on one side. If you are going to be handing out your flyer, you can print info on both sides. The purpose of a flyer is to offer a small amount of information for a limited time at low manufacturing costs. Flyers are most often used for announcements of events, especially concerts or club openings. Product info, such as specs for new car, fact sheets handed out at trade shows or conferences. Brochures Brochures are also known as pamphlets and are more expensive to print. A brochure is generally a standard size sheet of paper that has been folded lengthwise two times to create four panels bifold or folded three times to create six panels trifold brochures are more complicated to print because each panel has its own margins its own photos and its own headlines business create millions of brochures each year and sometimes Copywriters are even hired to just write brochure text. Brochures are opposite of flyers in the throw away category. They are created specially to be kept and referred to again and again. They are handed out at the end of sales presentations, as take away information at trade shows and they are displayed in racks and banks doctors, offices, and cash registers. It's expected that only people that are interested in learning more about a product will pick up a brochure. The purpose of a brochure is to follow up after an initial sales contact to give more detailed information than a flyer. Brochures are used in direct mail campaigns as the follow-up to a postcard that was mailed out to generate interest. Leaflet A leaflet usually has a better design as a flyer and they are printed in color and on better quality and is cheap in any way field. It is also important to note that while printed flyers usually on a 6 paper is a little bigger and a brochure can be printed on either A4 or A5 paper due to the fact that a leaflet will be made with better quality than paper flyers. It costs you more to print leaflets. What is a poster? A poster is a large printed picture or an illustration 
placed in a public area for advertisement purposes. A person that places bills or placards is also called a poster. Posters are normally used to convey certain messages. A poster is filled with tiny print, blurry images, and disorganized text. A good poster is a oil positioned display of text and images that communicates just the highlights of your program to a mobile audience. The primary goal of a poster is to inform but it can also advertise or stimulate conversation about ideas and concepts. It always markets your image and the image of your colleagues and institution. Whether you are creating a poster for a scientific conference or putting one together for a community event, the basics are still the same. A good poster tells a story, can be read from more than 5 feet away, is interesting and eye-catching, has a simple, uncluttered design uses clear language and images in a logical sequence. Summarizes key points. Some tips for effective poster designing. 1. Know the purpose. Knowing why the poster is being designed is really important. Before starting on a poster campaign, First, you need to understand the message yourself. Is the poster designed for an event? Is the poster designed to promote a film? This would easily affect the way the poster is to be designed. Two, know the target audience. Knowing your audience is very important. If the target audience is the 10 to 15 age group, the poster needs to be designed for the kids, with some characters of kiddish fonts. If the target audience is youth, you can go for the some artistic elements and creative typefaces. 3. Location of the poster. This is really important if the poster is going to be displayed in a hall. Then it can be very specific with all the utmost information in it. If the poster is going in a school, then you would need to put more explanation in it. 4. Size of the poster. Always know the size of the poster that you have to work on. This would help you to size your graphic elements and photographs accordingly. The size of the poster could be small or big. Online printing services could provide with various different sizes that could prove beneficial for your purpose. Five, visual. Posters are visual medium for communicating your message. Try to keep as less writing in it as possible. It could include one large image with graphic elements or you could use smaller images. You could also use graphs and tables. Six posters should not just show but tell. Yes, posters should be designed with all the great images, graphic elements, art, etc. But it also has to be informative. For example, if you are promoting an event, you need to emphasize on the event description and the date and place of the event. For movie posters, the photograph should depict what the movie is all about. Seven, poster should be aesthetic. 
If the event that you are designing the poster for is meant for music and you use an image of travel, then your poster has no meaning at all. The poster has to be aesthetic. If the poster is for youth, you could include funky images in it, but not kindergarten images. Eight, readability and fonts. Never use different many different fonts on one poster. It makes the poster loud. Do not spread the text to different places on the poster. Try to keep the text at one place. The font needs to be simple and clear. The headings are especially important as they need to be readable from some distance. You could go for sans serif or a real push at the basic but the best ones. Nine information flow. Information in a poster should flow in a consistent manner, be it by column or row. To make the flow consistent, you could use tables for proper sections and also use numbering and font system. 10. Color Colors are important in any designing work. Let Alan poster designing. Depending on the audience and the target audience, the number of colors that needs to be used varies. The colors need to be used properly. You could always pre-decide on the color palette that you are going to use. Try to keep a bit of consistency between the images you use and the colors you put. 11. White space White space or negative spaces always matter. It is the most unused element in designing. White space can also be a powerful way of drawing the user's attention to a particular screen element. 12. Go out of the box. Never stay in limits. Try out different things. Always remember creativity knows no bounds. Trying something new could easily help you to get the best out of the design. 13. Feedback. Never fear feedback. Always ask people around you about your designs. Always be open for criticism that would help to become a better designer overall.